Good morning. Thank you for joining me today. I'm back to my cleanup papers. I'm going to do the last one of the folded and sewn variety that we didn't get to the last time. And I've picked this one for, um, well, I don't know, something, something a little bit different, but, uh, well, we'll see as we get to that. Okay, so I got out my folder of uh, Roxy Creation papers, and you can see it's rather a thick one, and I picked papers out that I thought might work with, uh, with this one. So, no, I thought this might work with that one. So let's get that cut out quickly so that I can tuck this aside. I hope that you are having a pleasant day and are well and enjoying yourself today. Okay, somehow or another I thought that might work. There we go. For this one, I was thinking of this because of the blue. And I was thinking of this because of the whole conglomeration of colors that we find here. And I probably am thinking that this might just win on one of the sides here. So. And then there's this one. Decisions are the worst, to quote my friend Rachel. Alrighty. Hmm. Let me get this one. Let me get this one. I might want to go down around that little blue butterfly just because I can and I think I'm going to come back leaving some of these pretty blue posies Let's see it ends here I could use that red line I don't know what that red line is there for but I'm going to use it. And this side of that one. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Nope. If it opens two correctly, then this would be the front. And I love it. But it needs, it needs some. printed papers. Just a strip. Let's have a strip of this. <clears throat> Right down under there. But let's 
let's go all the way with this and see see what happens I'm going to keep this this paper is lovely I love the color now Yes, let's take this off up here so that the stitching shows. Maybe a label down here. Yes. But also, just a touch of my go-to tea dye. Just the slightest touch. It's gotten chilly again here in Florida, so I'm enjoying Florida. Florida's idea of winter which means 40s at night and 70s during the day. I want to be very careful with this be paper because it's quite tender. Okay, now. And I'm glad I left that Blue butterfly, for what reason I don't know, other than I thought it was neat. warm sweatshirt on and a denim a denim shirt over it because my studio was a little bit on the nippy side okay let's get those two pieces down with um, Elmer's extra strength My, isn't that pretty? The colors are so right for this piece. go inside the stitching. Okay, and now 
a label. Hmm. Or another one. Blues are a little hard to find. Nope, too big. Look what we have here. Shows the red. I like that. There it is. The choice has been made. see this side now. Now this side. This is going to take some fussy cutting, I can tell. My eye keeps coming back to this because of the shades, the different blues. Looking at it, Carol, it's not going to get cut. If you just look at it. No, I'm not going to make you sit through that. I'm going to do my housekeeping and I'll be back. Mission accomplished. And I cut out a piece of this lovely font paper, antique and I think maybe German. So let's end. Oh, let's. We're going to check to see if that's going to do what I think it's going to do. Sometimes it doesn't work quite the way I think it will, but maybe. Just maybe. I distressed the edges of the paper while I was doing my housekeeping. Is that parallel to the top? A little bit, yes. And the flower now.
I'm going to let that sit for a minute. And I'm going to take out a, take off a piece of this vellum that I think goes with that. Let's just give it a put. Let's just give it a put down. And see. And now the flower. And here it goes. If I can get the card picked up. With these fingers, that's sometimes a challenge. we go. Yes. Quite happy with this little piece of I don't know what. That's right there. So, this, this last one is finished. Let's set this aside. Close up the glue for a minute. This one now, and a sip of water. I'm happy with that. That makes me quite happy. Now, I think so. I think in this case, case I want the edge it's difficult to get through that thickness of paint but it's better let's fix this Now, if I give this a fold, this way, I want this to be a writing, have a writing spot in here, so I took out some of this paper that I ordered from Amazon ages ago, and if truth be told, I forgot about it. I know that you don't do that, so I feel good. attached to the back.
and down it will go. Right here. Rather interesting paper. I bought it ages ago, maybe two years now, because I saw Gail Augustinelli using using it, and I just thought it was neat. And it came in a package with uh, quite a few choices. of uh, designs. Okay. That can go there. This goes in the garbage. And here we are. Much, much less soft and uh, scary for ripping. Now, how, how to do this? I come in this far here. This one over to here. Despite its imperfections, this might work. Fix that a little tiny bit. Now, the trick being. What do we want to have and are we going to decorate the back? I think we're going to do one, two, three. Let's do this one first. Let's just do that one first. Well, if we do that, we are certainly covering up all of the pretties. So, is it possible? I mean, is it possible? so.
nothing is going to be perfect here because this paper, this painty paper was not even close to perfect. So, let's see if I can get as close as possible. That goes in the saved in the saved bits. Yes. Before I do that, let me do this. clean area or a dry area is what I should be saying. Fingers crossed. Well, I guess we're just going to make it open from this side. Why not? Why not? We can do that. There's always a way out of a dilemma. I particularly liked particularly liked this color with this color and I'm going to get it on there ASAP Where were we? Right here. Color is so right. Not only is it a label, but the color is right. Now that's a happy pair. I like this because of that. It might cover up this white blob. Oops, I hear the phone ringing. I must take this call. I will be right back. 
while I was on the telephone, I enjoyed the best of happy accidents. I cut out the other half of this. And the colors work very nicely here. Cover up. And don't yet yeah, don't cover a lot of the gilt, which I think is speaks nicely from the background, and this label. And I think that will be that. I just love it. Love it. Love it. I was doing a happy dance when I saw what this looks like on this side of our little writing spot. Now let me be sure that I get the glue on here without causing a calamity. There we go. Oh, I love it, I love it. Look at this, with that paint. Ah, oh, sometimes it's just happy dance time. Thank you, Rachel. And it's a little bit of purple on this side, brings up the purple from this side. I know you're smiling too because you've had experiences like that also. Sometimes they are a little few and far between, but this kind of makes up for it. For no rhyme or reason, then it's there to be pretty. And so we have a writing spot. I'm not quite, not quite tickled with that front yet. It needs something. Yes, it does. It needs something. I don't know what it is yet. Maybe not. Maybe the gold does speak for itself. Because anything that you, I did would cover the gold, and I don't want to do that. So I think I think we're going to declare ourselves quite happy here. Although, I have a thought. I'll be right back. Derwent Inktense Pencils. This is uh, golden yellow. Let's see if we can just Let's 
just do something. Cadmium. Let's see if this just does pick up some of the color. We need a little bit more of a pick-me-up here. little bit more of a pick-me-up right here. And the intense pencils are soft and they and they lay their color down so well. And of course, if you added water, we have another whole world there. And this is golden yellow. yellow up a little of that yellow and leave some of the rate of the uh, initial paper color right here let's see about let's see about these thistle this one is thistle This one's certainly needed. I think the ink on the printer left these pale. So we're just giving them a little pop. That certainly did something, didn't it? I don't know. If these are the same or different. This one, maybe that one. There is just tiniest hint of shadow, purple shadow over here. I think that was the answer. Just a little more, um, not quite. Goes with that one, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Let's just Just 
do that. Let's just do that. Now I could do this all day, so I'm going to stop. This leaf works with that. I'm certainly more satisfied with this with this one now. Get the gold to show for you. And let's buzz in so that you can see what we've accomplished today. And this one. Oh my, I'm so tickled with that one. I don't know what to do with myself. That makes me happy, and that's what we're all about. Making ourselves happy. And this was mission accomplished. And finishing up our last one. Oh, I know what that needs. That needs a little taking down of that white. Right there. Yes. And there. And the back. So, if you have enjoyed this visit today, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, I do answer them, and I would appreciate your subscribing to my channel. Bye now. I'm going to turn this one over because it tickles me so much. And I'm going to put the book bone on the tip end of it so it stays down. This side or this side? This one. Bye now.